Good evening. It is so good to see all of you. We're so glad that you've tuned into this Be Encouraged webcast. And we pray that the psalm my dad will share this evening and the message I plan to share from God's Word will be an encouragement to you to remind you of the love of God and how much you are so very loved by the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ. My dad's going to share a psalm that he wrote this evening, so I'll turn it over to him. Daddy? Thank you, Jennifer. Well, we thank the Lord for all of you that have joined us this evening, and we pray that as we share the Word of God with you this evening in uh, word and song, that your hearts will be blessed and that you'll be transformed, as the Bible says, by the renewing of your mind as God's Spirit ministers unto you. We live out in the country. We don't live in the big city or anything like that. We if you could see out this window right here, there's about a quarter of a mile of hay field up there to the road. As we live out in the country. And in the country, we have this saying about going out of your way to help someone. And about 16 years ago, God spoke to my heart, and he gave me this song that says that he went out of the way. And Jesus Christ, the Bible tells us in Philippians chapter 2, that he emptied himself, he took on the form of a bondservant, and he came to this earth on our behalf to seek and to save the lost and to give his life for our redemption. What love, what, what manner of going out of your way to help someone. And we give him all the glory and praise for his love tonight. And I hope that God speaks to you as I share with you this song, He Went Out of His Way.
Jesus Christ went out of his way to redeem us. And it's my pleasure this evening to uh, introduce my daughter, Jennifer Campbell, and she's coming to share a message that God has laid on her heart from the Word of God. And I hope that it's a blessing to you this evening. And again, God bless you for joining us, and we pray for you, and we pray that God will touch you through this ministry. Amen. Jenny, come right along. Amen. Well, thank you, Daddy, for that anointed song. I'm so grateful that... Jesus Christ went out of his way for us. We truly don't deserve the sacrifice he made on Calvary. We don't deserve his love, his mercy and grace, but he just pours out upon us. And I'm so grateful that I have a daddy who loves Jesus Christ with all of his heart and wants to share the gospel just like I do. We have just a passion in our hearts and just a desire in our hearts to share the love of Jesus Christ everywhere we go. It doesn't matter if we're at the grocery store or a restaurant or on vacation. We want to tell people about the hope that we have in Jesus Christ because the gift that God has given us is so very great and it's a gift meant to be shared. The gift of salvation. As I was preparing for this message, I thought about many different gifts I've received over the years, and I'm so grateful for all the blessings people have given me, including my dad, and just so many things are nice to have, and um, they can be the necklace I'm wearing is a piano necklace my dad got me about a year ago, and I'm just grateful for these special tokens of love that people give just to show their appreciation and love for me, And but all those things that I've received throughout the years, they're worthless. And the Apostle Paul even said, you know, all these things, it's worthless compared to the knowledge of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And that's how I feel about all these things. And my dad reminded me before we started this webcast tonight that my Papa Joe, he'd walk in the store and see all kind of stuff in there. And he'd just go, junk, junk, junk. And so he just knew, like, all these things that just didn't matter. I mean, nice stuff to look at. It's neat to go in a store and look around or go in a flea market and look at all the different things, antiques or whatever. But all that stuff has no value when it, it comes to away. eternal life. Yes, it all passes away. The Bible tells us that the Word of God will stand forever, but everything else is going to pass away one day. All this earth and all these things that people see as treasures, they're not treasures in eternity. The Bible says to lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where moth and rust and all those things don't destroy and where the thieves don't break in and steal. All these things that we have on this earth, these things that people acquire, especially around this time of year in the holiday season, people are acquiring a lot of different things. They're buying new clothes or buying new housewares or buying new cars or buying all kinds of stuff. But in reality, it doesn't mean anything because you can't take that stuff with you to heaven. And the most important thing is whether or not you know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Because salvation through Jesus Christ is the greatest gift ever given in the history of humanity. The love of Jesus Christ outweighs everything that anyone has ever given. It doesn't matter how expensive, how grand, how rare. Because the love of Jesus Christ outweighs them all. The love of Jesus truly is the greatest gift ever. Ever that has been, ever that will be. The Bible tells us in Romans 6, 23, it says the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. The gift of God is eternal life. God has given us this wonderful gift of salvation that includes eternal life in heaven, where we can worship around the throne of God for all eternity. And I look forward to that moment when we see Jesus Christ face to face. That's going to be the most glorious day of my life. But until that moment, we have a job to do, and that is to tell people about Jesus Christ and His amazing love. Because as the Bible says here, the wages of sin is death. Some people are living in sin. And in fact, we are all sinners until we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. My dad, myself, every person on this earth, every man, woman, boy, and girl is a sinner in the eyes of God because the Bible tells us in Romans 3.23 that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. We've all fallen short of God's glorious standard. We don't measure up. We're not good enough in the eyes of God. We need a Savior, and His name is Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us in Isaiah 64, verse 6, it says, All of us have become like one who is unclean, and all our righteous acts are like filthy rags. Everything good we've done, all those good deeds, charitable donations, 
giving someone a meal, donating some clothes to the thrift store, whatever you might do, those are good things to do. To help people in need is a wonderful thing. But all the good things we've done added up are worthless. They amount to a bunch of unclean soiled laundry. They don't have any value. Because on our own, we're not righteous in God's eyes. We're not worthy. We don't deserve anything in God's eyes until we believe in Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. The Bible tells us in Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 and 9, it tells us that we're just saved by grace. We can't do anything to receive salvation. It says, For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. Some people, they do a bunch of charitable things and they feel like, okay, you know, I've earned my way to heaven. I've earned salvation. I'm a good person. I'm a really good person. But no, you're not. I'm not. No one is a good person. The only good person to walk on the face of this earth was Jesus Christ alone. He's the only perfect man to ever live. He's the only perfect human being to ever live. And he came to this earth to seek and save the lost, the Bible tells us. He didn't come to gain notoriety. He didn't come to see his name and light somewhere. He didn't come for any reason other than to save us from our sins. That's why a little over 2,000 years ago, Jesus came to this earth and was born in a manger in a little stable. And he came to this earth to be born so that he could live about 33 and a half years, and die on a cross on Calvary. God didn't give his only son because he needed something. He didn't give his only son because it was just something he wanted to give away. It was his most precious treasured gift that he could give, his only begotten son. And he didn't need anything anyway. He didn't need us. He didn't need us to follow him. He didn't need us to believe in him. God owns the cattle on a thousand hills. He doesn't need us. But He wants us to worship Him in spirit and in truth. He wants to have fellowship with us. He doesn't want a bunch of robots running around. He wants us to love Him and to cherish Him and to give glory to His holy name. We're not on this earth for any other reason but to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth and to share the gospel of Jesus Christ just as Mark 16, 15 tells us to do. We need to be about our Father's business, not just today, but tomorrow and every day for the rest of our lives until the Lord's return. We need to tell people about this wonderful gift of grace that God has given us because it's a gift that we can give away to everyone that we meet. We can tell them about the hope that we have in Jesus Christ. Right now, people are preparing for Christmas and all these holidays and man-made traditions, but these man-made traditions cannot give us lasting hope. These things can only give us temporary hope and temporary joy that will eventually go away. The holiday will end and people will be depressed and sad and disappointed that it's over. But the hope that we have in Jesus Christ will last for all eternity. Jesus Christ is our hope of glory. He is our eternal hope. And we can put our trust in Him knowing that He will always be with us every moment of our lives because He loves us so very much. And Jesus didn't give his life because we deserved it. The Bible tells us in the book of Romans chapter 5 that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. God demonstrates his love for us even before we are considered lovable. Before we are even worthy of his love, Christ died for us. The Bible tells us that, you know, for some people, a, a, someone might die for a good person. But... Most people, they're not going to give their life for a sinner, for a murderer, for a criminal, for someone that done a lot of bad things. But Jesus Christ gave his life for every single human being that's ever lived and ever will live. And he did it because of love. He didn't do it because we're good or deserve it. He did it out of his mercy and grace. It's only because of God's grace that we are here. It's only because of God's grace that we woke up this morning. It's only because of God's grace that I'm here. I was born without a heartbeat, lifeless. My dad could tell you. My dad and mom were there praying, holding hands, and they prayed, Jesus, help. And I'm only here because God's grace saw fit to let me live. So I could be here right now to tell you that there is hope in Jesus Christ. 
and I pray that you will choose Christ today. I'm getting emotional because I care about you. I care about your soul. You see, it's not about Christmas. It's not about holidays and decorations and all these things. It's about telling people about Jesus Christ and this wonderful gift that he's given us. Jesus Christ gave his life for love, as I sang last Tuesday night. And as my dad sang about tonight, he went out of his way. He didn't have to give his life. He didn't have to sacrifice himself on a cross. He could have called 10,000 angels to rescue him from that cross and return to his throne in heaven never to be beaten, never to suffer and die. But the Bible tells us in Philippians chapter 2, verse 7, that he gave his all, expecting nothing in return. As my dad said, he emptied himself. He gave everything. He gave everything he had because he loved you so much that he didn't want you to go to hell for eternity, but he wanted you to have eternal life in heaven. And I pray that you will choose Christ today. Don't wait until tomorrow, for it could be too late. My dad and we're almost in two accidents over the Thanksgiving break. And I thank God for protecting us and keeping us safe. But we never know when our moment will come when God will call us home. And we have to make sure our heart is right with God today. Call on Jesus Christ. It will be the most important decision you will ever make. I pray that God will speak to your hearts to remind you the gift that God has given us. And I pray that you will be bold in your faith to tell others about the saving grace that we have through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever should believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. That's the greatest message we could ever share with anybody we ever talk to. It's the greatest thing we could ever post on social media, It's the best thing you could ever share with someone on the phone or by email or by text. When I look at a tablet or cell phone or computer, I don't see an electronic device. I see a transmitter for sharing the love of Jesus Christ to the furthermost reaches of the earth. And we need to make sure that we are telling everyone about Jesus Christ and His amazing love. We need to share this gift of grace with everyone that we see. Because if you're like me, I pray that one day the people that I meet on this earth will be my friends in heaven. I have no greater desire than the people that I encounter on this earth, that I will see them one glorious day in heaven as we worship around the throne of God, thanking Him and giving Him praise and glory and honor that He's so worthy of, and thanking Him for this wonderful, marvelous gift of grace that we don't deserve, but that He bestows upon us if we just call on Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Let's bow together in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this gift. Lord, we don't deserve this gift at all. We're so unworthy. I'm so unworthy. But Lord, I just thank you that you saw fit to come to this earth as a little baby in a manger. And you lived on this earth and ministered and shared the gospel and encourage people and heal people lord we thank you for the miracles that you did then and the miracles you still do today i thank you that i'm alive this very moment to share your gospel and i thank you for the privilege of standing here and telling people about the hope that we have in you lord it's a privilege that my dad and i just appreciate and are so grateful for and we just thank you humbly that we can be your ambassadors and be your servants Father God, I pray for the people watching tonight that you will speak to their hearts, Lord. Help them to fix their eyes on you, the author and finisher of our faith. Father God, I pray that you will speak to them and soften their hearts and help them to call on you as their Lord and Savior. Lord, help them to choose you today, that they will serve you and honor you in everything they do. Father God, for those that have already put their trust in you, I pray that you'll give them a boldness of faith that they can go and tell others about this wonderful gift of salvation and about your amazing love. Jesus, we thank you for your love and mercy and grace, and we thank you for the gift that you've given us that is the greatest gift of all, and we give you the glory, honor, and praise for everything you've done for us for everything you will do for us, for being with us every moment of our lives. And above all, we thank you for who you are, 
the King of kings and Lord of lords, and we give glory to your name, Lord. We worship you today and every day, Lord. We thank you and praise your holy name. Father God, for those who are sick and ill and hurting and discouraged, Lord, I pray that you'll bring healing to their hearts and minds and bodies. Lord, give them peace that passes all understanding and be with them, Father God, that they might know that you're with them. We thank you that you're Emmanuel, God with us. Lord, we just give you the glory, honor, and praise, and I thank you and I honor you. We love you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, amen. We thank you for watching this Be Encouraged webcast. We invite you to go to cwrmusic.org where you can watch more Be Encouraged videos. You can listen to songs my dad and I have written, including the one he sang this evening. He went out of his way. You can even download the free MP3 file as well. We pray these things will be an encouragement to you and those you share them with. Have a blessed evening. Remember that Jesus Christ loves you more than you could ever possibly imagine. So go and share this wonderful gift of grace, this gift of salvation, this gift of everlasting hope with someone this very night. God bless you.